All right, friends. The letter we are working on this week is the letter G. And G can say two different sounds. It can say G, like get, or guitar, or it can say J, like giraffe. It's one of those tricky letters that has two different sounds. We are going to practice some words that has the G sound in them. And Snowy is so excited that he gets to come and join us today. Hello, Snowy. How are you? Are you doing well today? You are? Are you missing the boys and girls? Oh, I know. It's been a long time that we've been in this room by ourselves, hasn't it? Yeah, we had spring break, and then we had two weeks off and then another week off so yeah we kind of miss you guys don't we yeah absolutely oh you need a hug oh thank you i need a hug too because i miss my boys and girls all right maybe by the time they get to watch this video they will be back at school maybe we hope so are you ready to help me now? You are? Okay. Boys and girls, let's do put these sounds together. Are you ready? All right. I think Snowy's finally ready. Took us a little bit today, didn't it? Yeah. We're out of practice. All right. Let's try g i what does that say? Give. How about p -ig? pig? Do you hear that g sound? How about g at? Got. Good. How about bug? B -a -g? Bug. We told them that one. Oopsies. How about this one? G. A. M. What is that, boys and girls? Gum. And the last one? B. I. G. Big. Very good. Thank you for helping us with that. Are you ready to go bye bye? You're not? Do you want to help me with the next one? All right. I'll do my best because I kind of need two hands sometimes. All right. Here we go. So, boys and girls, we said this was our letter what? The letter G. And G says G or J. Good. Here's a couple review letters. What is this one? Snowy, do you remember this one? Let's see if the boys and girls remember. Boys and girls, what is this letter? This is the letter U. And what does U say? Ah, the lowercase U has a little stick after it. The uppercase U does not. And what is this letter, boys and girls? This is kind of a tricky one to write. This is the letter K, and K says K. All right, very good. So we're going to listen to some of these words, and you are, go boys and girls, you're going to tell me what sound you hear at the beginning. All right? So here's the first one. Gate starts with G. Up starts with G. Uh. Kid starts with k. How are they doing? Awesome. Key starts with k. Good. You starts with a. Uh. Us starts with a. Uh. 
goat starts with g, good, like good, goat, good. How about game, g, how about give, g, one more, this one changes. How about koala? K. Nice job, boys and girls. So you just had words with K, with U, and with G. Now this time, tell me what they say. G or J. A. And all right, nice job. Next, we're gonna do some words with the letter G. But Snowy, I'm gonna have to tell you goodbye because I need two hands now. Can you wave to the boys and girls? Can you tell them to come back soon? Yeah, Snowy wants you to come back. He misses you. Wave to him one more time. Bye-bye, Snowy. Bye, boys and girls. See you next time. All right, boys and girls. We're going to make some words that start with G. If I put the letter G, what does that say? G. Now I'm going to add a letter. A. T. So now let's say it. G. A. T. Get. All right. So we are using G. E. T. To spell the word get. Now I'm going to give you some more words that start with the letter G, and we're going to stretch them. How about this one? G. As. Gas. Mom or dad puts gas in the car or in the lawnmower. How about this one? G, egg, gig. A gig is like a fun party. You're going to get together for a gig. It's not a word that we use very often. All right. How about, oh, this one's not going to start with a G. It's going to start with a different letter. A. Uh, S, us, put it together, us, good. I'm going to erase it, and we're going to do some more. Since I ran out of room. How about, oh, this one's going to start with a capital. Why would I use a capital? When do we use a capital? Beginning of a sentence, but I'm not doing a sentence. A holiday. A day of the week? How about a name? You see which one I'm doing. G. A. S. G. Us. Gus. Is that a holiday? Is it a day of the week? No, it's a name, isn't it? We capitalize our names. I like to say it's because we're important. It's really called a proper noun, but for now, you can say we capitalize our name because we're important. How about the next word? This starts with a different letter that you already know. B, A, G. Put it together. B, A, G, Bug. Nice. About this one. Ah, uh, watch the next one. 
I'm going to try to trick you. What does CK say together? K. It's two letters, one sound. Let's put it together. Sack. Sack. Good. Let's do a few more. How about this one? K. What does that say? I. How about this one? D. Put it together. K. Id. Kid. Good. How about this one? Let's stretch it. K. Ik. That has two different K sounds. Let's do it again. K. Ik. Kick. Good. Okay, I have three more. Need to erase my board one more time. This word is very short. Do you have a guess what it is? Let's see if you're right. Up. Up. Now I'm going to put a C in front of it. Oh dear, I ran into the, the other letter, didn't I? There. What's this one? This is up, so this is up. Good. One more. G. A. P. Gap. If something doesn't fit together, there is a gap. Like if the door doesn't close tight, there would be a gap. Or some of my tables aren't all the way together, so that would be a gap. Nice job with that. I will be right back with our little Dakota book. See you in a second. <laughs> 